This audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Anne of Green Gables. Chapter 1 Green Gables. Matthew Cuthbert was almost 60 years old. He lived with his sister Marilla on their farm on Prince Edward Island. Marilla was five years younger than him. They were both tall and thin with dark hair. Their farmhouse, Green Gables, was a lovely tall house with a green roof. It was near the town of Avonlea. One afternoon, Matthew drove to the train station. He was wearing his best clothes and was very excited. Has the 5 30 train arrived yet? Matthew asked the station master. Yes, it came half an hour ago, said the station master. And there's a girl waiting for you on the platform. A girl? said Matthew. But I've come for a boy, not a girl. Matthew went up to the little girl, but he was too shy to speak. The girl was about 11 with a small, freckled face. Her hair was red in long braids. She looked at him with large green eyes. Are you Matthew Cuthbert from Green Gables? She asked in a high, sweet voice. I am very happy to come and live with you. Matthew didn't know what to say. He could not tell her he was expecting to meet a boy. Oh, well, said Matthew. Let's go home. He thought Marilla could explain the mistake to her. He took the girl to his cart and drove home. My parents died when I was a baby, said the girl. I've always been poor and haven't got any beautiful dresses, but I just imagine that I'm wearing the most beautiful dress. And a big hat with flowers on. Then I'm happy. Do you imagine things sometimes? Well, I, I don't, said Matthew. Am I talking too much? Please tell me. I can stop if necessary. Matthew smiled at her and said, You can keep talking. I like listening to you. Matthew was surprised that he enjoyed the journey home. When they arrived at Green Gables, Marilla was waiting for them at the door. Matthew, who is she? she asked. Where is the boy? There wasn't a boy, said Matthew. The orphanage made a mistake. The girl looked at Marilla and burst into tears. <laughs> you don't want me because I'm not a boy! <laughs> She cried. Nobody ever wanted me! <laughs> There's. No need to cry, said Marilla. Yes, there is, <laughs> said the girl. This is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> Don't cry anymore, said Marilla. You can stay here just for tonight. Now, what's your name? Will you please call me Cordelia? asked the girl. Cordelia? 
Is that your name? Asked Marilla. No, but it's a very elegant name, said the girl. I'd like to imagine that my name is Cordelia because my real name is Anne Shirley. It's not a very interesting name, is it? Marilla looked at Anne and sighed. <sighs> when Anne was in bed, Marilla and Matthew sat at the table. We need a boy, said Marilla. A boy can help you with your work. We should send her back tomorrow. But Marilla, she's a nice little girl, said Matthew, and she wants to stay. So do you want to keep her? Asked Marilla sharply. We can give her a good home, said Matthew. But we don't need a girl, said Marilla. You're right, Marilla, said Matthew. But perhaps she needs us. And she can help you with the housework. I can get a boy from the village. Marilla thought for a while. Then she said, All right, Matthew. She can stay. Matthew smiled and said, We should be kind to her. I think she needs a lot of love. <laughs>